Welcome back to another Power Query tutorial by me, James, your BA Sensei. And today we're going to look at a very interesting case. We are going to look at using one query to merge two data sets in the same query. We basically have the main data set, which we see it's a stock portfolio. This is Warren Buffett's stock portfolio, all the stocks he held at the end of June 2022. And then above that, we have another table with the actual context of the table it tells you uh, this is Berkshire where well, that's Warren Buffett and that's the date of the holdings. So it basically supplements the data below. So it consists of two data sets that we need to merge into one. And I don't want to do it in separate queries. I want to do it all in one query. We open a new sheet <clears throat> and we say get data. We're going to pull it from that specific workbook. We select the workbook. All right. And that's all the same sheet. That's from that main sheet. And we say transform the data. All right, so we pulled the data and you can see Power Query automatically promoted data. So I'm just going to take those steps out. So what you can see now is you can see the two data sets in the one query. So we want to join the two tables together in one query, not multiple queries. How do we do that? First thing, let's talk about assumptions. I'm not going to get fancy here. We're not going to do any dynamic things. We're just going to assume that the top four rows is always going to be the data context. Okay. So let's first start at isolating the top table. What we're going to do is we're going to say, so what we're going to say is we're going to say keep rows. We're going to say keep the top four rows. There we go. And we know we only need these two. So we could say remove the other columns. Yes. Transform, transpose. We're going to then promote this header as the heading. Cool. So that's what we have. What we need to do now is we need to convert this table. You can see it's a table. We need to convert that into a record. How do we do that? In a previous video, I also showed you how to do it. You simply use, see, this is a table with one record. If you want to convert this into a record, you use curly brackets. And because it's only one, uh, the very first row of data is zero. And if I do the curly bracket zero, like we did there, and I press enter, it's going to convert this to a record. You can even see the symbol is a bit different there. All right. Next thing that we do now that that's converted to a record, I'm going to change the name. So I'm going to press F2 of this step. We're going to call that. Um, that's the name I'm giving the step over here. All right. Our next thing would then be let's open the advanced query editor. I just want to bring your attention to the part where we isolated that context table. We basically wrote that all query to get to that all rigmarole to basically get to um, the data context record. So everything from there onwards um, is all about creating that context table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly at the end, I'm going to put a comma there and I'm going to say main data table. Yes. And what I'm going to do is I want to take off before we did this other table. And you can see the very first place, the place where we took off there is the portfolio summary sheet. Okay. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to say equal. So it's going to skip this whole step here. And if I do this, I just want to put that in there as well. That's how M works. You're going to see that now we are back at where we were at the beginning. So now we do table two, the cleanup. So what we're going to do now is once again, I'm going to assume that we can always start at row eight. I'm going to say remove top seven rows. And I'm going to promote these headers. Yes. Okay. So now we have our data set. All right. That's beautiful and clean. Now, if I wanted to append the other table to this one because we got that main data so we got that data context record if I want to append this to over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say add column add custom and what I'm going to refer to there is you see that step that we named data context record which is the actual if we click there the actual record if I refer to that let's quickly show you data data context record it needs to be the same name as that step where you created the record and we're going to say okay and you can see it now 
And it's that very, it basically did a cross join. It took every single instance of that record and just added to each row in this data set. All I need to do now is expand that and take all the columns, expand them. And now we have the context of each row of data and we can simply bring it back. And that's pretty cool. So now what we did is we basically used one query to join two tables. We join the context table to the data detail table all in one query. Isn't that cool? I hope this really helped you. It really helped me. It's a very cool technique. You can get very fancy with this by doing dynamic um, columns as well. Um, I, kept, I, I decided to keep it simple in this video because I just wanted to show the concept. But anyway, I hope this helps. Um, BA Sensei out.